All right, this experiment is for Dr. Stifler, uh, Stifler Scientific, and it is a replication of what he's uh, recently doing using the um, source battery on a sec to charge a second battery. The energy coming off of that battery that's around that battery is charging up that battery. And the way he has it set up here, he's using a, an extended AV plug with uh, LEDs and uh, filter beads. Uh, these are ferrite filter beads going into a seal lead acid battery. Now uh, this is a 12 volt uh, 5 ampere hour identical battery to that battery. That's standing voltage on the battery right now, 12.61 on that battery. This battery here is approximately the same thing. It's a little bit higher, probably about um, 12.7 or so. And what I have here is a SEC 15. This is uh, my home built uh, version. This would work on a SEC 18, I'm sure, quite, quite nicely. I'm going into the L3, which is right there, in, into the tower, into 27 LEDs as a load on the unit. Uh, this is a 3 volt filament Christmas tree light bulb. Uh, it's a 2.5 ohm basic resistor here to show amp draw. And on my last two videos, I've shown how that lights up, depending on the amp draw going through this. Uh, this is a second tower. It's a wireless connection between here and here. I've got a couple of LEDs and a chunk of aluminum as a virtual ground. And let me turn this on. I'll show you the bump in the voltage immediately when I turn this on. I'm just going to plug this in here. Watch the voltage. This is on the charge battery. It goes. And you can see how bright these LEDs are right here. And this is coming off of the battery on a piece of aluminum tape. This is not connected to the terminals at all. This is a piece of aluminum tape. It's just wrapped around the back of the battery. You see that around the back there, all the way around to the side here. And that's just clip lead it on and then it goes over through the AV plug to the charge battery. Now this was the other part here. Was You see that little filament bulb? That's not even glowing. That little bulb isn't even glowing. Now this is drawing about 20 to 30 milliamps right now. I'm lighting up 27 LEDs. I'm doing two more LEDs wirelessly and I'm doing four LEDs on the charge circuit to the charge battery. And this is, uh, this is something to, to look at when you see this happen. And I ran this for a while, and that battery does charge up. This battery hardly drains down at all with that kind of an amp draw. Now I'm going to punch it here. I'm going to give it the gas, and you're going to watch that bulb come on bright. When it goes up to here, watch this is going to come on here. There goes that bulb. Now that's drawn about 100 milliamps at that point. I don't gain any more out of that. I'm not gaining any more. In fact, the voltage here, uh, dry voltage, has actually gone down some. So there's a sweet spot when you get this down to a certain point where that bulb isn't on at all. You've got lots of stuff coming out and you've still got charging going on that battery right there. And that's the voltage right here. Now I'm going to carefully disconnect this lead here and show what the actual standing voltage is on this AV plug. Let's see if I can get this to go here. There it goes. That's 43 volts and I can regulate that. It can go on up higher or lower. There's 57 volts. 16. And you can regulate the amount of voltage that you want to put into the charge battery by uh, adjusting the uh, tunable inductor on this SEC-15. Put this back to where it was. Anyway, I just want to share this with people. That Dr. Stifler's latest uh, design is really worth looking at. And I'll be doing uh, some more further testing on this. But you have to do it like he tells you to do it and uh, use seal lead acid batteries and over at his website and also at the forum he gives detailed instructions on how to do this and uh, like I say when I saw this little bulb not light up 
and I put a meter on it and saw what kind of amp draw that was drawing and then I saw this voltage on this battery going up I put a capacitor on a big capacitor and it filled it right up so there is actual amperage going into that battery and that's off an aluminum strip on the side of the battery and this is a, a sniffer right here that I used to sniff out uh, energy off these uh, sec units and you can see that thing light up there by the tower and it'll light up over here by this um, this strip too anyway that's what I wanted to share for tonight Dr. Stifler's charging circuit on a sec unit